I'm going to be showing you how to fix an ANK box mag. Uh, I got this with my Classic Army saw. Uh, I'm going to show you how to take it apart and uh, point out some flaws and also give you an idea of how you can modify it to be a little easier to use. So start off by either unscrewing the screws on the bottom or there's also some where you put the BBs in. I'll show you that in a sec. Okay. So I've already fixed mine, but I'm going to show you what the problem was with mine. Um, one day it just stopped uh, working, and every time I pressed the button, it'd make a weird buzzing noise, as if the uh, motor was jammed or something, which turned out to be the case. If you think that, don't just go out and buy a new one. I'd suggest taking a part like this and seeing if you can, if it's just a simple problem I had where some BBs got stuck. So anyway, after you um, take these two screws out, you push these two parts together and pull up. And then that pulls the uh, tube out of the way. And then you just, like, you just saw it just falls out. Um, and the problem I had was there were some BBs in the feed and somehow they got um, jammed into the gear and they got stuck. But it's fixed now. And I'm going to show you how it works. So, you know, you put all the BBs in here, though, there's usually the tube here. And um, the BBs will just, they're gravity fed into that little conveyor belt area. And then there's this weird gear shaped thing at the bottom that has little gear notches big enough to pick up one BB and uh, so it pushes them all in and then they come out that little where the tube would be right there but uh, yeah like I said earlier when mine was broken I just took the screwdriver and popped in there and all the BBs just um, popped out so I'm gonna check out the BBs and um, so that's the simple problem I had. It might be more complex, but you can take this apart. There's the uh, motor in there, and you can probably just re buy a replacement for that, but I'm not sure. And um, you may have seen this on other box mags. Um, I forgot what company it is, but they have it. They have a smaller box mag that holds the same amount of BBs, but it's uh, shorter and it also comes with a pressure switch and my idea is you can just buy a pressure, uh, pressure switch and hook it up here where the, tube, where the button is, there's two exposed wires you can just solder on a pressure switch and uh, make a little hole in the box, have the wire coming out and just use a pressure switch and that'd be a pretty cool thing to have I think I might do that when I get some money to buy a pressure switch don't know how much those cost though but um, Another problem with this magazine is, if you look here, it goes in like that, or out the way, but you see that half the box mag, so only this little area is used for actually holding BBs, and then all of this area is just wasted space, which is why I really hate this box mag. It's horribly designed. Like they put no thought in this when they put it together. But anyway, so after you move, remove the BBs and test it, and if it works, you just slide it back in. Um, screw down the bottom two to get it in place. And then you'll just push down that uh, top tube and uh, screw it all back together, and it'll work fine. It, if the uh, motor's still working, that is. But hope this saves you some money. When I figured this out, it saved me at least 60 bucks because that's how much one of these mags cost. And uh, those magazines with the uh, uh, pressure switch, you can go on evike.com and um, find those. They're 100, I think, 120 or something.